you a Downton Abbey fan? If so, don't miss this. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Nice to see you. Thanks as ever for joining me. Now, if like me, you love Downton Abbey, I think it's fabulous, actually. It's one of those sort of escapism dramas. I know we've got another one. I think it's The Gilded Age coming out or it's out now if you watch it on certain channels around the world. I think we all like these period dramas because they take us back to a time where we thought people had more glamorous lives. They certainly did if you were rich, powerful. And then, of course, there were people like us probably in the basement scrubbing pans somewhere. But even that was made glamorous on television. So Downton Abbey, as I say, the second movie is coming out in the spring of this year. Can't wait for it myself. Uh, it has the wonderful Dame Maggie Smith. And I think she just steals every scene that she's in. A wonderful performer who, again, is very, very down to earth, doesn't like a lot of fuss and uh, just a genuinely nice woman. You know, when she meets people, she's just kind of thrilled. She is, as she often says, simply a jobbing actress. But now it appears that two people have decided to capitalise on that success and they've formed a duo. Oh yes. And not only that, they're making sweet music together and more importantly, they've signed a mega deal with Decca Records. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the two characters, Lady Mary and Andrew Parker. It's kind of Upstairs, downstairs, if you like, for musical. Yes. Now, they formed a duo on set by basically just, you know, making music in between the breaks while filming. And they decided, well, they're both singers anyway. They've both got excellent voices. Why not see if we can do something together? So they came around and, you know, put some tracks down and all that sort of stuff. And Decca Records thought this is not a bad idea. So Michelle Dockery and Andrew Fox have teamed up and they have a brand new single out. They're planning a tour. And there's also an album coming out soon, too. A lot of people have been unkind over here, saying, oh, you know, they're just capitalising on being in Downton Abbey. What's wrong with that? I mean, that's really what gets your fame, but obviously you can have more than one talent. And it has been sort of welcomed by many other people. Let's not forget, though, that television has been the starting point for many, many people's careers, moving into music. Who could forget over here in the United Kingdom in the 90s? Robson and Jerome, who scored incredible success, all thanks to cover versions and more importantly appearing in a big TV show called Soldier Soldier. And then another Australian stalwart did incredibly well via the soap opera Neighbours. In fact, not just her, Kylie Minogue scored 13 top 10 hits in a row, all thanks to the powerful pen and composer of Mike Stock and Stock Aitken Waterman. And following her was none other than Jason Donovan, who also starred in Neighbours. And then it sort of opened the floodgates, do you remember? But back to Downton Abbey. The great thing about Downton Abbey in the movie is the fact that it has got a huge fan base. People truly love the ongoing stories and hopefully these particular movies will be screened on TV at some point. Right now it's going to be in the cinema, but more importantly for the upstairs downstairs duo of Lady Mary and Andrew, they're hoping to hit the top also of the charts. Will you be buying this single from the upstairs downstairs duo? Or like me, will you be waiting to see exactly where it fits in, in the social class of things? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.